morning, everybody. It's uh, 4 a.m. I got about an hour drive right now. It's uh, the Monday after the opening day here in PA. I'm headed into home with my brother and his girlfriend. And I haven't saw my brother since archery season. He flew in from Texas, so I'm pretty excited. He roosted three birds last night. And uh, it's the, actually the same spot that I shot my bird last year. But uh, me and Mike had a pretty good opening day. Um, went in there and roosted one the night before and then walked in there and we must have walked right underneath the birds because when we got in there and got set up, um, we looked up and there was like six birds in the tree. Two of them were toms. So that was pretty neat. But uh, of course they flew the other way from the hens. But it should be a good morning. Um, I'm pretty excited. Me and my brother haven't really killed much in the last couple of years since both of us kind of flip flop being in the Air Force. So, but uh, yep, I got about an hour drive, and uh, we'll see you when we get to the spot. There he is, pulling in. Should be a good morning. piece of white gold a little chewed up but it's real chewed up hey turkey's favorite color right there fluorescent orange let's go kill a bird with some orange on it, dude i don't need a decoy let's take my decoy right here <laughs>
got him. Yeah, baby. <laughs> dude, how did that just happen? Oh. You yeah, didn't even want to get out of the yeah. car, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Jesus. <laughs> you didn't even want to get out of the car. <sighs> oh, yeah, you got a rope on. I told you, buddy. You didn't even want to get out of the car. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> 12 o'clock, Bert, baby. Baby's outdoors, baby. I don't even know if we have a minute to spare. Dude, I didn't get him on film when he shot, I don't think, but I couldn't, I couldn't he see saw him. us. He saw me. Dude, it's 12 o'clock. <gasps> How did he come up that fast? I don't know, man. I, I saw him on that Unless ridge Unless there was here. two birds. No, there was only one as far as I, the other one would have ran. Dude. Got her done. How's the spurs? Two year old or what? Ooh. Two year old at least. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So this is the tree that we are set up on. Colin was right next to me. He's walking right over to where he shot it. And I didn't I don't think I got it on footage of the shot. It looks like it looks like this tree right here, this little one, is in the way. That's why I couldn't see. So, it, Colin's view is right here. That's why he could see him right there. That's where the bird was at. That's probably a good 40, 45 yard shot. He's using a three and a half inch long beard XR. Yep, I had no view of them because that tree's right there in the way, but that was sweet. That's a 12 o'clock bird, baby. That's how you do it. Man, that feels good. Second day here in PA. These birds are pressured. We walked 7.2 7 miles today, my phone said. When we get down here, we, drive, we drove down the road, and... Uh, Colin got out of the truck and called and he gobbled like I like like he said probably three four hundred yards away and uh, so we set up got out of the truck real quick set up and we probably we probably cut him off maybe we came in the woods about a hundred two hundred yards set up and he came directly down the ridge I mean we called this bird in all the way down the ridge thanks to Timber Echo game calls they make awesome awesome handmade calls out of Erie, Pennsylvania, but probably a good two-year-old. That's awesome. I wasn't even, sure. I wasn't even calling hard at him. I just no, gave him a few, dude. He few gobbled. Soft clucks. He gobbled six or seven times before we even Same before way. we even set up too. Sat down, gave him a couple soft. He was clucks. hot. He was a hot bird for sure. Sometimes if you call these birds too hard after you set up, they'll just hang up. And right. This bird did. He hung up for a good 10 minutes. The pressured 10, birds here. minutes up on top. Yep. And I just shut up, and he was gobbling the whole time. All right, guys, it's May the 4th, 12 o'clock, quitting time, and we just got it done. Me and Kurt hunted all morning. I think we walked a total of seven miles, I think you said, all together from when the sun went up till now. Finally, we get, we get out of the woods, we drive down the road where we had a couple guys parked earlier in the morning on some public land here, so we run into some other hunters, but we stopped. I said, Kurt, stop one last time. Let me call out the, out the truck. We had this bird gobble probably three, 400 yards across the ravine, across the creek, and way up on top. So I said, we got about 20 minutes until quitting time. So we got out, made a move on him. So he came down off the hill. He hung up a little bit up on top but I gave him a few soft clucks. He was gobbling at me the whole time. He ended up coming down the hill, crossing the creek here behind us, and we heard him gobble one last time to our left, so we had to reposition, and within 10 seconds, he popped his head up over the hill, and that's all she wrote. 
about a 45 yard shot three and a half inch did the work good looking bird uh, what I'd say nine inch beard probably three quarter inch spurs good two year old bird public land yeah it's hard to ground it out on public land like we did today it's a good bird the brother combination got it done finally Thanks for watching Ridge Rays Outdoors, guys. Help us out by subscribing and liking our, our videos here. But check them out, though. We got quite a bit coming out. We got a couple guys hunting in New York and um, a lot of guys in PA. Actually, Colin killed a bird in Texas. That video should be up pretty soon as well. But that was awesome.